It's the OCG Fam Show. We're going to take another swing at episode 621. This time we're going to try and get it right. Hey there! Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? How you doing? Let me know in the comments. So, uh, yesterday, not yesterday, it was last week, we did this episode we're doing again today, but uh, a little different this time we're going to do it correctly. Because in the last episode we were talking about alkalinity and how it can make a huge difference in your growth from what we found so far and how we're digging into this, learning about it together, and the importance of using a meter to check your alkalinity. And we showed a meter on the screen, Scott did, and the one he showed was the wrong one. Here's what happened. Uh, they ordered the correct meter, got in the meter, pulled the meters out, they looked just the same, didn't notice they'd been sent the wrong one over at OCG, sent one over to Scott, he showed the meter, it's not the right one. The right ones have come in, those ones are getting sent back. The right meters will be at OCG on the website very soon, or if you want to go get them somewhere else, it's the HI775. Hannah meter, and that's the one, Not the, I think it was the 745 maybe is the one we were showing. Anyway, because of that, I pulled that episode down. Actually, I just put it unlisted, so the comments are still in there. So if you uh, had a comment on the episode, you'll be able to go back in there to see anything of, as far as what happened with the comments in there. But anyone uh, coming to the thing fresh, not going to be able to see that episode. You'll see this one, where I'm going to show the clip of Scott and I talking about this meter and about alkalinity. Important topic. I think it's going to be interesting. If you've already seen it, it's the same. If you haven't, watch this. I think you'll find it interesting. And uh, back with regular episodes tomorrow. I love you, and I'll see you then. We already got the hand meters in. Nice. So now you can actually order these online. Oh, yeah. OCG. You can also order them from Hannah. You can order them from Amazon. Uh, you can go yeah. support Bezos, you know, who doesn't yeah. give any money to a kid's baseball team. No. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. Probably He's not. not a kid's baseball team guy. No. Not really at all. He so, regardless, to huh? Building some rockets, though. Well, that's good. Yeah. Did you see that? Who was it that said, we're going to build rockets and go to space? And Elon says, go for it, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet. No, that's awesome. <laughs> he says, no, he says, do it, pussy. <laughs> Stop talking about it. Just yeah. do it. <laughs> that Facebook movie is like, you didn't invent Facebook. Because if you would invented Facebook, you would have invented Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh -huh. Well, this little unit here. Yeah. This is the one I ask people to buy. It's not focusing. If I put my head behind it, no. Anyway, it's the PPM one, not the UKD one or the. Because they'll sell this in the same thing three different ways for saltwater tanks, freshwater tanks, uh, okay, and drinking water. Oh. All of them can be. Uh, okay. Over, because so yeah, yeah, you gotcha. Yeah, there's a conversion chart we can figure yeah. it out. I've had a lot of customers. I send them this link. They still buy the other one. It's like the dechlorinator for your fish tank is different from the dechlorinator for your drinking water. Yeah. It's a different. Yeah, kind of same thing. I gotcha. So this, so far, is super easy to take a test. It's super consistent. Um, what do you do? Slurry or what do you do? You basically, you know, you put oh. ten mils of water in. Uh huh. You measure what's in that water. Then you take uh -huh. this out, you put one mil of reagent in, uh -huh. that goes into reacts, you put it back in, you press it again, and it tells you how many parts per million of alkalinity is in this water. And this is your straight water before you do anything, this, this is just your water water, this not is, your soil water. But This your... is Portland water that we tested for a farm. Uh -huh. They came down, this came out to 33 parts per million, and they were struggling with their soil slowly becoming acidic during uh -huh. the late veg and early bloom stage, very uh -huh. similar to our farm up there yeah, that yeah, we were yeah. talking to. So they brought their water down. What we found, we got them a calcite charger. They found one locally at a uh -huh. fish store or uh -huh. drinking water store. We put calcium limestone in line. We run their water over it. It increased theirs up to 55. And there's a reason for that. Their yeah. starting water is at 7.2 pH. So for calcite to release itself, it has to be below neutral, more acidic than neutral. Uh -huh. So if their water is at like 6.5, it would draw more alkalinity out of the calcite in the charger because it's reacting. And it's basically the acids are dissolving the calcium off the rock and building it into the water. So could I ask a question? Yeah. So when I look at my pH chart, I've got acid and alkaline. Is this, but there's like a pH, but is this like... I've got a, I've got a hundred of these things that are real high pH, or I've got a thousand of these things that are a little lower, and I'm getting the same pH level, but this is different. Is that kind of what it is? Well, I don't understand. Uh, pH is the potential of hydrogen, which right. is the acids in your system. Sure. 
Alkalinity is the level of calcium carbonate in your water or your soil. It doesn't mean it's pH related. It's literally unsoluble forms of calcium carbonate. pH and, or acid and alkaline are not yin and yang. They're two different things. Well, seven is neutral. Yeah. Seven point one is alkaline, and six point nine is acid by uh -huh. definition. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you just run seven over calcite, it's going to draw up a little just to build your naked water up. Right. Uh huh. But it can only hold so much before the potential of hydrogen says no, we can't take any more. Oh. On. So if you lower the pH of your water to become more acidic, then the alkalinity is like, hey, we can fix that. So it starts drawing the alkalinity off of the limestone carbonate, building back your water alkalinity, and in turn, gently rising your pH. What happens with a lot of these folks that are running rainwater, reverse osmosis, distilled, evaporate of any type of water that's not just tap well or naturally occurring, minus rain, which is naturally occurring, sure. but that's evaporative, so there's yeah. nothing in it, zero alkalinity. Yeah, it's like distilled water to it some is, extent, except much. whatever falls through the... Yep, the only difference through. is evaporated versus forced distilled. Yeah. Uh -huh. So as that water passes over potting soils like ours, that builds in a ton of calcium carbonate, tons of oyster shell, tons of limestone, all of these calcium forms are in our potting soil. Well, if you can reduce the alkalinity of our potting soil with water, that means your water has zero alkalinity, and it's drawing the alkalinity out just like if this cartridge is filled with limestone and we take that same water, it draws the alkalinity out of the rock, uh -huh. builds the water, and then it replenishes the soil with alkalinity by releasing it back into the plant's root zone. So what we notice right out of the gate is going from a 30 to even a 55 for these guys, they're like everything immediately turned around, started greening up, started perking up, started praying again. The rigidity of the plant was there, the vigor of the plant was there, and that was with a 20 point increase. Pig went from 7 to 80, and his yield went from 1 to 3, and it was that quick. So, like, when they're talking about the, the alkaline water that we drink to make us healthier, it's not about the pH exactly. They're, they're off base to some extent, perhaps. Well, just making the pH is just... Yeah, I mean, anybody can Google alkalinity versus pH, and yeah. I'll tell you exactly the difference of them. They are not the same thing, although sometimes they become relative to each other. They are not parallel. So if you go to 9.0 pH, that doesn't mean you have 300 parts per million of alkalinity. You could still have 20. That pH could be caused by a hydroxide. It could be caused by a different element or a different mineral that's causing these issues, which could be even become more problematic because we're looking for the whole thing about building soils is you want to create these higher cation exchange capacities in the soil. If you have no alkalinity, that's the energy. I mean, imagine calcium is just being a battery. And if the batteries are all equally placed within the soil and you start to charge that thing, it can take up everything you're giving it because that energy is being oh. focused in the root zone. But if you take the batteries out or the batteries die yeah, because you stripped all the lithium out of them, yeah. the soil just becomes dead and nothing can work. The CEC drops to nothing. Everything you're feeding them just starts building up because the plants aren't absorbing it anymore. Uh -huh. So all of a sudden the pH drops, the PPM start going up, and then everything goes to hell fast because you can't possibly feed them because the potential or the pH is so darn low. Does that make sense? Kinda. It really, I mean, it's like overwhelming. Like, no, I don't get it, but also it makes sense. You know, you're like, I, you know, I like just it, it's like, okay, that makes. Sense. Well, I think next week Tuesday you post yeah the pig video uh -huh. with him talking about yeah. it and. Uh -huh. the, and showing what that is, showing those filters. We should have uh -huh. those filters up by yeah. next week uh -huh. online to show you yeah. what, what you need. Yeah. Um, and then really your best, your first goal. I mean, I've got guys now testing all their water. Uh -huh. I got guys in Colorado that their well comes out at 220 parts per million and the water they get from the city is five. So they're blending them. So they're getting a 101 parts per million and they're getting the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah. And all immediate turnaround in the plant. Huh. Now, when he was just using his well at 220, Everything was going the other way. His uh, his oh. soil pH by mid bloom was at like seven six seven seven, and it was because it was so much extra alkalinity in the water it was dumping it into the soil. Uh -huh. Because the soil was less alkaline than the water, so it was stealing it back. So when he's hammering away with pH, I gotta fix, gotta fix, gotta fix, gotta fix. Not knowing what's going, you know, it's like you know they say when you hear a, a good song, you think you've heard it before. It's like that when you oh, explain yeah. this to me, it's like I don't understand exactly, but it. It makes well, sense. <laughs> and it's know? starting to really, yeah. like, because we've always been pH critical, pH, even today on my, my live show with yeah. Green Grow is just, 
So you're pH critical, and it's like, you know, that's what we've said forever, but the downfall is we're, it's alkalinity. Uh -huh. I mean, pH is critical. We feed at this range because that's where calcium is going to be most sure. available. If your soil's screwed up, you're never going to get doomed. there. You're doomed. You're never. It doesn't matter what you pH you may think you're, you're there, for. but you're not. No, because the soil's going to steal the yeah. everything you added to create the higher pH is with a limestone. So as soon as it hits the soil, the soil wants to fix itself, so it steals the alkalinity, and it's trying to balance that in the soil, and it doesn't have enough. To rebuild that soil back up, it just comes down to you. Your water source is going to be your key to your success. If you just have crappy alkalinity free and you don't want to buy a hundred and fifty dollar charger to add calcium back into your water, synthetics don't need any of this. Yeah, they can run on N, P, and K. Alkalinity isn't a thing. We're force feeding them those salt minerals, yeah. and they can handle that just fine. If you're living soil, you're no till, you're totally organic, you're outdoor and just meals, soil alkalinity and water alkalinity far more important than pH. So this $50 test is a, I mean, well, you could go to pigs and say, how much is that worth you? And he's like, well, I put $250 yeah. worth of an investment into nine rooms and I tripled my yield. So yeah. um, $300 turned around really, really fast. So it just depends on what, what it's worth to you. But everybody we've turned this on to either reducing their alkalinity or increasing it within, I, I think the longest now has been 72 hours of, holy, look at the difference. But most people are within the 20, 12 to 14 hours of the next day just going, Damn. whoa, I, all we yeah. did was just put this water through rocks and it, look yeah. at the difference. Yeah. So alkalinity, we're going to keep working this. We're going to get more and more info. This is not going to be something... This is going to change how Nectar looks at a lot of things down the road. And a lot of farms we're dealing with, like one of the things we're dealing with now is we just ordered a bunch of different forms of calcite. We're trying to figure out how can we just put them in pantyhose and suspend them in you know, 55 gallon drums and do it that way uh -huh. versus buying some kind of crazy $200 stuff, yeah. units and this yeah. and that. So we're coming up with different ways that we can, you know, this isn't all just, hey, go here and buy this and do that. Yeah. We just want to educate you guys so that. When you're buying nectar, you have nothing but success because you understand how important your water is. We make everything with rainwater, you know, yeah. and that's a blank slate, which is great. That's what we want. But now I'm finding out that rainwater isn't great for indoor gardening. And people are like, well, I water my vegetable gardens with rainwater. And it's like, well, yeah, but your vegetable garden also has, you know, they'll plant it below it. So it has a mineral load and an alkalinity load of like 72 tons of earth directly below the root zone so and you're it's been growing stuff for oh yeah hundreds of thousands of years you know how many things have risen and fallen yeah. on that square footage in yeah. the history of time yeah you have calcium like if you do a soil lab test here in the valley uh -huh. the calcium load is through the roof uh -huh. none of it's available but that just means that when you're watering with rainwater you're not stripping the, the alkalinity out because it's already built into the soil it's you're already right potting so with no alkalinity in it and you're uh -huh. using the reverse osmosis with no alkalinity in it you better be feeding synthetically because there is no way you're going to have a good, healthy, strong crop. So, are dry amendments valuable to your soil even if they're not available to your plant? Yeah, because they're available to the microbes. And the microbes, I mean, if but you're feeding yeah. them, then uh -huh. they populate and they, they yeah. work it all through. I got you. And but not I mean, to this then. But, no, I mean, but even then, I mean, compost has calcium in it. Kelp yeah. has calcium. I mean, as it's breaking down, it builds calcium sure. as it's decaying. So, yeah, yeah I mean, there would still be bit. big benefits of having feather meal. And, I mean, there's chitin has calcium in it. So, mm. huh. there's a lot of different, having the meals in there, even for the no-till guys, alkalinity is going to be huge. And that's where like cow pro comes in. I mean that yeah, cow yeah. pro calcium. That's pure alkalinity being built back in. So if you're doing a super soil, they mostly will put in dolomitic lime or gypsum or something, which is high sulfur and high um, magnesium. Uh -huh. Which to us, it's like yeah, don't use those because it's yeah. way too much of both. Yeah. But that's what they'll build in for their alkalinity and their pH adjusting are uh, gypsum and, and um, oh, okay yeah. dolomite. And we're like, no, just use carbonate. Because calcium carbonate isn't going to give you an excess of sulfur, excess of magnesium. Instead, it's just going to balance your alkalinity, and everything you feed and water into there just becomes more available. Now, the trick is, if you can get this to about 80 to 100 parts per million, 
be prepared to have to feed. I mean, not want to feed. You have to feed uh-huh. more because now the the pathways are wide open. Cooking with gas now. Well, that's where go. we looked at notes from three years ago, two years ago, and then just recently with uh-huh. the pig. Uh-huh. And he's like, "See back here, I was tripling Gaia, tripling Medusa, tripling tripling Athena's in the first three weeks of flowering. This year, I'm at half strength everything because everything's not taking any of it in." And we're pulling our hair out. Like, what changed? What's the difference? We're testing soils. We're looking at the pH of everything. His water. Water. And everything uh-huh. came back to it. See, right here's when you went from well to rain. And look, from right here on, it just goes downhill. And so if you're using rainwater or RO or distilled, we need to talk. We need to get you on one of these. And uh-huh. then we can help fix getting you into... Now, if you're in Michigan... Get one of these for fun because it's fun to see what you have, but you'll probably never need a custom charger because fun. you're probably at 100 to 120. Um, and then the other thing we're finding is like with him, he had seven or eight chargers in a row, uh-huh. hoping that everyone was going to give him a parts from million. To oh, like he was going to yeah. double bubble the situation. Well, and, no. you know, and, and the first two definitely made a big difference because it's about the amount. What happens is. If the water flies across the rocks, it doesn't have enough time there to pull anything off the surface area, so your parts per million will be less. Oh, yeah. The slower it's on that surface area, the more it's going to release. So what he learned is with two chambers, he can dial down his water outtake, uh-huh. slowly draw it across there, and get up to 80 to 90 parts per million just by slowing Does his flow. Does he just go into a cistern or something? And yeah, 300-gallon then... shovel, and yeah. then he transfers them into many shovels. Uh-huh. Now, I have a customer up in kind of Vancouver, Portland area on the other side of Portland, and their water is 7.3. So at 33 parts per million to start with that water, they can get up to that 55. Now they're going to have to go back and cycle it through again at a slow rate to see if they can add more. Or as I told them, just throw some guy or Hades in there. Get your pH at like 6.5. Okay. Then run it through the system, and that will bring out way more alkalinity because you're slowly oh, dissolving you're the rock. You're giving it the potential to, to do it. Yeah. Okay. And that's what I and I send them this picture, which I'll just quickly... Is that the pH, that's the pH of the acid, and the acid's breaking down the calcium more effectively? And To break down limestone, you need an acid. Yeah. And so if you have this acid going in there, acid, 6-8 is an acid yeah. by definition. So yeah. if you have a little bit of acidic water going across uh-huh. it, it dissolves more limestone in there to buffer it and then you get your alkalinity built in and so on his thing let me see if i can find his quick farm pick so this is do i have one of just the all of them thought i did anyway but these are the first two and see how little or oh. this is over five thousand gallons and he has five more in line right here Floating on top there, what? Those two, two. See, that's full, that's full, that's full, that's empty, that's empty. Yeah. Wow. Emptied. Uh huh. They're all running through, and he goes basically. These are just like those filter canisters yeah, you see, like for a pool or something. You'll see two little things that are full of. Uh, yeah, or your RO units will have yeah, yeah, for yeah. a sediment uh-huh. filter uh-huh. or whatever. And there's just limestone in there. Just calcite, yeah. Okay, yeah. And so what he did was. That's what we're talking about right there. But on these first two, those are the only ones that have any reduction of the calcite in there, even though they come in this way and they go through all of them uh-huh. and then into his tank, because they already met their highest potential through the first two. Oh, uh, sure. So okay. they need nothing out of these other three. So he's like, well, this was a waste of my time. I just thought that every one I added would give me 40. Sure. But then he went 40, 80, and then he slowed the flow down, so now he's like 50, 100. So you just get, it gets harder and harder as you get closer and closer you to You can't 100. really over uh-huh. alkaline your water just by passing it over. You'd have uh-huh. to have a chemical reaction or a seismic heat situation, uh-huh. like a you know volcano, yeah. to create that type of energy to release that type of alkalinity into the water. But So what we're teaching people now, if you have zero, then you're probably going to need two canisters right out of the gate. Yeah. Like RO, rainwater, you're going to probably need two. Mm -hmm. If you already have decent water or somewhat decent water, Mm -hmm. most likely one with a slow flow is going to get you a noticeable result, and then it's up to you whether or not Mm -hmm. you want to do another one. And if it gets to some point where you got to really push hard, then you have to do some sort of pre-treatment with like an acid or something to get it. Yeah, you'd want to drop your pH enough to get more into the water. But you'd still only have like two canisters? 
you would just ask, look at what he's doing. I don't see the need for more. No. It seemed like that was a giant happening. waste of money if nothing's happening. He's like, man, I'm just going to let these go or take all that material out, put them in yeah. here and sell yeah. these to my friends yeah. because he's not getting more by putting more in line. His pH has hit a potential that is going to where it's going, yeah. And then the alkalinity gets to uh, its echelon. So, alkaline, just stay tuned. Yeah. We're going to post a video of that that interview because that was where this all started for us. Um, and then we're just going to keep playing. We have all the materials either on their way or in stock. OCG Fam is going to be putting up these kits with the meters, uh, the you know, canisters. The can, yeah. yeah, we're just getting in the calcite now, so we're going to start playing with that stuff and then put them all online. So look for new kits in the next weeks to come. Um, but it could be a huge game changer, even for the small tent guide. And this is for everything. I mean, this is your vegetables. If you have, a, if you've had a brown thumb, it's cause your water, that's what's probably yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. let's take a look at your water collectively and we'll see what we can all come together and, and make a better garden for all. But this will be a, a big, this will be a big thing. I'm excited for it. I'm like giddy. Every time I test somebody's water, I'm just like, you need some chargers. <laughs> Stupid, but it's, no. it's, yeah, it's a, yeah. We've it's come a, to the end of the road, but now we're taking a new turn and it's going to get, it's going to get interesting. I'm tripling your yield in the first run is just crazy. And from a guy who already is already you know, killing, he's got a bragging rights yeah. to a lot of different genetics. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to make it. I mean, he's going to ruin a lot of people's day, but it's turning these little guys into, I mean, out of those farms, there's big beard farms, high places. Uh -huh. These guys, are, they know about this, but they're not telling anybody about it. And they're turning the corner to bigger yields and better quality and this and that because they're starting to put these calcite charges in line because of what pig's teaching them. So that pig, man, I'll tell you. He's something else. He's a, he is. He's a, just a non-greedy asshole. Yeah. Good guy. Good soul. It really is. We, we know good people. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I met him, I just like, I was up at uh, Indo Expo, and you know, uh, <laughs> you meet everyone there, and you're like, hey! <laughs> and I met him, and he just like, uh, how you doing? You're Bob, right? I'm like, yeah, hey. Oh my God, you know, he just, he was just very low key, and I was like, that's who I remember out of all the, except well, for that. Always humble, he's chill, yeah, he's uh -huh. just no ego. Well, his ego comes from a whole different place, and it's not growing. He's okay, deep. yeah. He, he's he's okay with him. Yeah, you know, he's just he's I'm, I'm all right. I'm gonna be okay, and so I don't need to to, to prove anything to anyone. No, yeah. exactly. And he's not an ego grower, so yeah. like you said, he's not out there. Mine's better than yours. Yeah. He just he would, he's into teaching others, and he's definitely yeah. one of those nectar heads that just if you're not successful with nectar, then you're doing it wrong. Is the yeah. philosophy uh -huh. and it's not that you're all doing it wrong it's no. just we all aren't handed the same exact tools and yeah. that's what it boils down to is yeah. what's in our toolbox and if, uh, if we can all have the same tools i think we're all on the same page yeah but we're not i'm in oregon you're in michigan you're in illinois you're in florida there is a different water yeah, table for neighborhoods let alone for states so stay tuned on this if you're so inclined to find out why you're group your grow sucks, except for Michigan. Don't bother buying these. <laughs> Michigan just wanted to know. But, you know, these meters. Get the PPM meter if you're going to be communicating with me. Um, you can, it's just a checker, marine checker. Okay. The code number of this one is the HI755. Um, comes complete with two vials, some syringes, your um, reagent. Um, it's super easy to use, no calibration needed, so it's not even as difficult as a pH pen. Nice. And you don't you don't have to do any special cleaning for the next batch, you just no, pour your water. No, it really good and go out from there. And what I did have been doing, and that's where alkalinity and pH, so all these different waters I've been testing for people, uh -huh. the pHs are all over the place and the alkalinities are all over the place and none of them... Doesn't correlate. No, you can't go, well, if your alkalinity is 62 parts per million, your pH is going to be somewhere in the 8 to 8.3. No. I mean, I've seen 6.9 with, a, you know, 140 parts per million of alkalinity, where I've seen that same 120 with a pH of 8.9991. It's like, oh, my gosh. So I can't, don't tell me that your pH is this, what's my alkalinity, or my alkalinity is this, what's my pH. You kind of need, you don't need this meter, but this is your next cheap 
Yeah. Or go in on it with like four friends. I mean, it really is like for twelve fifty to change that much of your world, it's worth every penny. Still crucial your pH after you've done this. pH is, is still about how the plant absorbs the nutrition. Alkalinity is the CEC in the soil making that energy happen for the plant to even want to take in the potential hydrogen. So it's the pH of the food is still very important. But if you have zero alkalinity, then it's not driving in nearly as much. It's like the smart kid at the school where they, nobody cares and he's bored. And they think he's a bad student. Yeah, he's they just put him on Ritalin because yeah. <laughs> he's sitting there twiddling his thumb and throwing yeah. boogers at the next kid. Yeah, yeah this is the, the booger kid. All right. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.